Let's talk about a modern knee design techniques and then also the longevity of the implant. So when we look at modern knee devices, we typically have over a hundred sizes for each patient. So in our practice, we template the patient's anatomy before surgery, meaning once we talk to a patient about surgery and they, they've signed up to have a joint replacement, we go in and we use computer software where we check angles, sizes, and measurements so that we have a blueprint before we even get to the operating room. Once we're in the operating room, we take that preoperative plan and confirm it with what we're doing actually in that surgery, meaning we have fancy devices where we can check sizes, angles, and measurements. If we need to, we can modify the plan by a millimeter or two here or there to match the patient's anatomy, as well as change by a degree or two if needed. So we're able to fine tune the procedure once we're actually doing it. The benefit of the modern implant is first of all, all those different sizes allow a customized implant to each person's anatomy. So we can treat four foot six people up to seven foot two people. Sometimes if you're in the extreme of that bell curve on the natural size of human beings, we will even do a CT scan and then we use that with software to make sure that we have the appropriate sizes available. And that's only if you're on the teeny tiny side or on the gigantic size. So the other modern advantage to implants is that the plastic pieces, what we call polyethylene, this has been used in implants for over 70 years. The newer polyethylenes are treated with highly cross-linked radiation. What that does is it cross-links the plastic molecules, making these incredibly more durable than they used to be. When I started 15 years ago, we used to tell people we hope we get 15 to 20 years out of your joint replacement before that movement of the metal and the plastic would wear the plastic away. Now, I think these plastic implants are going to last 40 or 50 years. So the durability has gone through the roof with these implants. Let's also talk about a modern design on a knee replacement system that I use. I typically use Medacta, which is a Swiss-based implant company uh, based in Nashville, Tennessee, here in the United States. I love their implant because their implant is very similar to the normal anatomy in the human body. The inside part of the knee pivots and moves while the outside part of the knee is able to rotate and then give you a good arc of motion. This is very similar to your normal anatomy when you're a teenager. So I think the closest thing that I can do to replicating a person's natural anatomy is to use the Medacta medial pivot design, which allows that inside part of the knee to pivot and move and that outside knee to have a good range of motion. This is the closest knee implant to your normal na native anatomy. So I think that these implants are lasting way longer than they used to. They're customizable to your patient size uh, along a broad spectrum of heights, weights, and, and ranges of uh, human anatomy. And then I think they're feeling more natural because we're, we're replicating the native anatomy in the knee. If you have any further questions about implants or modern design for hip or knee replacement, please contact us at the Louisville Hip and Knee Institute.